Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Impact V here, and I'm going to be showing you today how to install Tanzanite's Zombies Mod Pack version 1.501 for Minecraft. And this is basically, it's a really cool mod. It has fly mod, it has other like mods like you can control the carts and other things. But I'm going to be showing you how to install the fly mod today. So you're going to go ahead and go down to version 4.19. Where it says the download link it's going to ask you where you want to save it i'm just going to save it on my desktop you can just yeah just save it on your desktop it's good and i'm using chrome by the way so if that thing doesn't pop up you don't really need it you can just go into your desktop and you'll see there's the mod pack now you're going to go and hit your start menu and you can go to where it says search programs and files and then go and type in percent app app data d a t a and then another percent and it's going to bring up this uh, f uh folder and you're going to go into your dot minecraft folder it should be at the top at the top of your list and then you're going to go into your bin folder and then you're going to go and click on click once on your minecraft dot jar and then right click and you're going to go open with winrar archive or whatever archiving program you have so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up. You're going to go and open up your mod pack folder. Let's hit this close button. And you're going to go into your classes folder. And then you're going to take all this stuff here. And you're going to drag and drop it into there. Just hit OK. And another thing, if you have a folder here that says meta dash inf, you wanna gonna, you're going to want to go and delete that. Because it, it'll mess up your Minecraft and won't load it properly. So just delete that. It, it will happen a lot when you're putting in mods. It just, just, just tends to have Minecraft open. And you don't want to have Minecraft open when you're installing mods. So I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of your jar. You do not need that anymore. You're going to go back to your uh, .minecraft folder. You're going to go back. And you're going to go into your mods folder. If you don't already have a mods folder, all you got to do is go to new folder and then just create that folder and make it mods just hit yes or don't hit yes i'm just merging it with another folder so this will be a brand new folder without this junk in it sorry i forgot to delete all this stuff before i started so now you're gonna go down you're gonna do new another new folder and then you're gonna call it zombie z-o-m-b-e don't do z-o-m-b-i-e just do z-o-m-b-e like I like like shown on the screen. So now you have that in. You're gonna go click on your zombie folder, go inside of it, and then just go back one to your folder. You're gonna drag all these text files into your zombie folder. So now that's all this in here. You're gonna go to your config.txt folder. This is basically just explaining the mods and what to do. And in order to just keep going down to fly, you can do all these other ones if you want. But for all the mods and zombies, you want to go and where it says mod blank enabled, you want to go ahead and you want to delete this pound signal, pound sign. And that will allow you to use the mod. And you want to do that for other ones. Like if you want to use craft mod, you just want to delete this little thing here. So now you want to go down and it shows you the keys to turn it on, which is F and then E go up and then G. Q to go down, and then left shift is to multiply the speed. You don't have to multiply your speed, but it kind of helps if you want to go far places while flying. So I'm just going to go down to this thing where it says movement speed multiplier, multiplier with speed modifier. You want to go, and I'm going to change it to 5 because I like my speed going 5 times fast than 1. You can change to whatever. just helps you get around faster. You're going to go ahead and save this now. Exit out of here, exit out of your mod pack, I mean your um your the Minecraft folder, you're gonna exit out of your mod pack, you're just gonna go and run Minecraft. So once that comes up, see I'm Laxer Dude. I haven't changed my name yet, so if you see me in games, I am Laxer Dude one two three. But I don't wanna go into my multiplayer server. I'm gonna go to my just my testing world to test out my mod. So, probably most of you have already done this, but you want to go and, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, you want to go to options, controls, and then 
your left sneak will usually be on left. I mean, your sneak will usually be on left, and you want to go to right shift. Cause you don't really need it with the fly mod. And when you have it on uh, left, sh when you have the fly mod on left shift, you can just left shift. Wow, I keep saying that wrong. Um, it just um, helps you go faster. Like, so you want to hit F to turn your fly mod on, and see in the top left corner it says Minecraft beta flying. So, and then you just hold down shift to go faster. Go E to go up, and you can hold down shift to go faster up. Then Q to go down, you can hold down shift, etc. So, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you have any questions about zombie mod, or if you want me to do any other tutorials on other mod, mods or mod packs, I'll be more than happy to do it and try them out myself, because I haven't tried all the mods out. I've only tried a couple ones. Like, if you guys want to know how to install um, more creeps and weirdos, which I've been using in my Let's Play series, just go and send me a message or leave in the comment section. And it really helps our channel grow if you guys like this video and favorite. Um, so thanks for watching. This has been Impact Demon. I'm out. See you later. <laughs>